thanks for Thank coming for this session. Um, today we have another session on um, cut sorting for content series, and we want it to be very interactive. So if you have any questions, if you have any ideas on the content, we want it to be lively. So thanks for coming. And today we have Gamiso here, 2020, about to do the presentation. So let's welcome him. you think when you see this what comes to your mind like anything anything at all wants to start you can write on the board okay i'll pick you start anything at all then you give it to the next person From what you see. Oh, from what you see. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> what, what, what do you think about what you see? What comes to your mind? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then 
Maybe we can write it's it like in numbers. Five, five. Yeah. yeah. about the rest matching mm. up to something that I want to listen while eating chocolate but okay. <laughs> yeah oh, okay. so far just five and six alright can you play the music for five and six five yeah. wait five for the first one because it sounds like fashion glamour you know that whole vibe shake it off oh, shake yeah it off. you know shake it off yeah. okay yeah. what was six and six, six was the yeah, from this moment, you know, it's like uh, your <laughs> like wedding cake kind of thing. Okay. And yeah. Now you're in the field. Alright. Some, someone else. Okay, it's one less thing. Uh, I try to find a song that cuts across. Yeah. And from my guess, those people could be at that very same event eating that very same food. Okay. And if that applies to be true, then. There are two songs that cut across, yeah. number two mm-hmm. and number six, both being love songs and classical, soulish, mm-hmm. not too much poppy, perfect for that. Okay, and then the last one. Um, for the event, I thought two and six. 
just the way it seems. Mm -hmm. it's, if it's for those people, maybe it's like we're just missing or something. I don't know. It would be nice. What is card sorting? So from this activity that we just um, did, I needed you to realize that the way you group things is different from how the next person groups it. So she was thinking, maybe it's a religious event. He was probably thinking, oh, if it's this wedding, then he was thinking, what would I be doing there eating chocolate? Maybe it's something else, right? So that's card sorting. What is card sorting? It's a user-centered design method used to generate a category tree, or um, it is a simple technique used in um, user experience design, where a group of subjects um, are guided to generate a category tree, right? So a category tree simply means um, a structure where you group things. So now it depends what you want to group, which structure, what do you want to use. So in short, you can take like the last one that says participants organize topics into categories that make sense to them. You have information that you need to put together. So for example, it's a project. You've gone for research and you have all these things that you need to put together and try to figure out, hmm, what are the common issues? You know, How can I group this information that I've been given? So you group things into categories that make sense to you, right? Um, the types of card sorting. So I think the one I just gave you is open card sorting. You come up, um, participants create their own names for the categories. So you come up with your own groups, wedding event, religious event, or something like that. And it is generative. When we mean generative, it means that you can create a lot of your own. You come up with a lot of different things, right? As opposed to the closed card sorting, closed card sorting is when you're given a set of themes or topics to work under. So I'll say group this according to politics, group this according to whining and dining, or group this according to that, right? And it says here it is evaluative. You're trying to see whether the groups that I've given you actually make sense for you to put things under. Is there an opportunity for you to come up with another group, right? That's um, Evaluative. So I was also trying to think, where have I used card sorting? How does it apply to me? Or if you've got any example of where it applies to you, you're free to give it out. So for example, I was thinking if I'm seated today and I'm thinking about my day tomorrow, I'm planning from 8 to 10, I'm doing this, this, that, because this time I'm usually sleeping, so I'll do less things. Then from 2 to 5, I'm active, I'm doing this. So I see this as card sorting because I'm trying to group things according to eight to 10, the group, the sleepy group. So what do I do there? And then two to five, the active time, what do I do? So I don't know if you guys have any other examples, like real examples, like your everyday things that you do that could relate to card sorting. Anyone, any idea? Any idea? You can take, for example, when you go to a restaurant, um, the menu that they, they give you, it's already, they've already done the card sorting because they're putting this under um, breakfast or they're putting this under French cuisine or a Chinese meal, something like that. That's already card sorting. So card sorting cuts across every discipline. So for example, the second part here, it's what's the purpose, sense making. The way that items are organized should make sense to the target audience and cannot be determined from first principles. So you get information, you look at it, you actually think about it, then you start grouping it. That's how card sorting works. And also to come up with major things that become the focus of your project. Um, for example, I was doing a project to do with unemployment, right? So when we went out for research, um, we had a lot of information, a lot. Some people were saying people were unemployed because of floods, you know, floods, they take away everything. Now you have nothing, you start over so you have no job. Um, some people were saying because the government is not providing jobs, um, the other issue was graduates are not being innovative, or people are corrupt, those things. So you can imagine all those different things that you are given or that you are trying to sort out. That's the use of card sorting. Now you're saying which things go under innovation, lack of innovation and creativity, then you put graduates, then you put secondary schools are not doing 
um, a good job, something like that, right? You take the government or um, corruption, for example, injustice and corruption, then you mention all the things to do with corruption, and you also mention that companies are not giving people chances, all that. So that's the purpose of card sorting. Is there anyone with any example you're about to contribute or say what you think about it? Uh, I think my own process is a perfect example of card exactly. sorting. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because uh -huh. I, I categorize my clothes based on color and and what I use them for. So you have t shirts that are branded, are, that's a category. You have shorts that are light colored, certain category. You have formal wear that I like to wear and formal wear that I don't like to wear. Uh -huh. So all those are different categories. So I think that's card sorting. I don't remember. Yes, you sort them accordingly, and then you say flats. And when I'm going out, like just going out, moving around, I throw the flats. Then I've got the wages for a more formal event or something. That's card sorting. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I play um, my music playlist. Okay. I say Great. I card sort. So I have music for morning, afternoon, evening, and those that are appealing to my mood. Right. So that's how I card sort my music. Great. One more example. The last time when you talk about clothes, I was thinking of when I'm washing my clothes. I just don't dump anything anywhere. I wash the clean ones first, the ones that I think it should have clean, a little clean, and then I move that way to the dirtiest one. So yeah, it's kind of I think it's cut sorting. Yeah. So you see cut sorting cuts across every discipline. Um, then I think the last part so that we get more. Nice he is looking for a piece of information on your website, but is struggling to find it. Like John, there may be many others just as frustrated. This could reduce the number of visitors and miss out on potential revenue. Who wants to use a website that is frustrating, right? Not John. So how do you help your users find what they're looking for? Well, start by testing with the simple process of card sorting. Card sorting is a powerful technique used by experts all over the world to find out how other people would group and label content on your site. Understanding these patterns helps you organize information in a way that makes sense to have people using your products. You can create a card sort in three simple steps. First, you need to define the cards. You can label the cards with information from your site. Then, get some people to sort the cards into groups that make sense to them. Once the results are in, you can identify any patterns found using visual and statistical tools like similarity matrices and Denver graphs to understand and analyze your data. At Optimal Sort, we brought the process of card sorting online so you can remotely test how different users around the world are reacting to content on your website or internet. With Optimal Sort, you can set up a survey in minutes. You can find participants for your survey by emailing your own database, posting links on social networks or on your own website or by using Optimal Workshop's integrated participant panel. Participants can sort cards online, with a mouse, on a touch screen, using a tablet, or using special printed cards from Optimal Sort that you can scan back for analysis. Your card sorting results will be instantly available through Optimal Sort's beautiful and insightful analysis tools. Create a better user experience for your website or internet with Optimal Sort today. So, um, this is a tool for card sorting. Pardon? Is this an online tool for card yes, sorting? Yes, it is an online tool. So you can do it online as well. Most companies use card sorting as well when they want to sort out their websites. Like they said in the video, um, some people complain that I can't find this on your website, I can't find that, I'm looking for this. So they come up, they use optimal sort to come up with the different categories so that when you're using the website, it's easier. So user experience, right, it becomes easier. So if you have anything to contribute, you can pop it up. So now we're going to get busy. We are going to do a card sort, a mini card sort. So the, 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 the words that you've got there, um, they, are, they vary across any discipline. So 
it's now an open concert. You're allowed to come up with your own things or whatever you decide. Just come up with something. And I'm sure it's going to be interesting because you find different things across. And a team that um, wins, that comes up with interesting things, is going to win something. Yeah, something <laughs> interesting, trust me. So if um, there are four, four, four um, sets of words over there. So if we're like seven or eight, then we can divide like two people to one. Um, set of words so we can start um, okay. then when you're done I'm um, putting them together I think it's either you can write on these um, sticky notes or you can paste it on the, the, the flip charts then after that we'll come to the front and then we'll just talk about then we'll get back to that yes okay. so we have yes, so we look like the so with this we had desserts and we have like meals and we have utensils so we have like pastry ingredients like things that make a cake and we have like cars then schools countries we have police drink cinema Exactly, babies, cats, and dogs. No, 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 this can be one category. It could be. Babies, cats, and dogs. No, 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 it can be. If you own a cat and dog and then baby, if you have a baby, these are things you love.